talk about some, I, I want to talk about lead, but I want to talk about lead specifically with regard to some of the most challenging parts of what's going on with V4 and what's going on. And so rather than kind of being didactic and telling you about lead, I want to tell you about some of the things that are challenging at that kind of research interface with lead. I want to talk to you about something called the Green Building Information Gateway, which is a project that I run that may have some um, relevance to you, particularly those of you who are thinking about um, um, certainly commercial real estate and actually very recently residential real estate. And then I want to talk to you about health, wellness, and experience as and, and the way that that issue is reshaping uh, the industry. Okay, so let's all get on the same page about what's the context of what's going on with LEAD right now. And the reason that LEAD has to change. Um, and so one of, I mean, one of the things that is, is, is challenging is that in the moment that we have created by our own success and by the, the direction of our, of our movement, where if you look at that, this, this chart right here, what we understand that we're doing, and just, this is more just to get on the same page, is that we understand that over the last 15 years of green building writ large, we have largely been in a mode of kind of doing less bad. And actually, if you think about LEAP 2009, the basic structure, the goal was to basically things were prioritized in their role of mitigating damage. We were trying to do less greenhouse gas emissions, use less energy, and so forth and so on. Ultimately, the goal is to create built environments that are actually that actually improve the environment, that actually make you healthier, that actually have a net benefit, right? And so we talk about, to, so the, the vertical thing here is basically we're trying to move toward buildings that are actually positive contributors to their neighborhoods and communities. And we, we've been moving along the spectrum. And we've been moving through grading systems, we've been moving through codes, we've been moving through other kinds of standards. And what's happened is that the floor has been rising up, right? So building codes have been improving, green codes, we have been you know, pushing them into the marketplace, and all of this has con contributed to both the need to raise the bar within rating systems and a sense of how high you can go within those rating systems. And so the idea is that, that, that if you think about this, this is about where we are with LEED 2009. But what, what's happening is that green codes and codes in general are catching up. And so that the bottom end of certified is basically where the top end of codes and standards leaves off, right? So there's a diminishing gap that we needed to fix. So standing still was really not an option, right? So we moved into the V4 world where we're trying to keep a delta on codes and the very best projects are reaching a point where we're, we're, we're stopping, we are reaching the point where we're not talking about just doing less bad, we're actually talking about sort of net positive benefits. And so this is the context that we're playing in. This is why we can't stand still and this is kind of the overall ambition. So if you click the next one. But I want to talk about two, there are lots of things to talk about with the current universe of lead, but I want to talk about two of them that are, that we're spending most of our time thinking about, because many of them are, well, let's talk about these two. So, <laughs> so like, if you click the next, okay, so, the one thing that we all understand in, in, a, in a V4 world is increasing stringency with regard to energy efficiency, right? But I, I, I'm not sure how many folks appreciate the, some of the real challenges that we face in this regard, and, and there's really two that are that are that are central. So, some of, so the, the 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 primary issue that we face is that while we have been over the last ten years enjoying a period where code was relatively lax, and we were able to operate in the delta between code and what the market could deliver, what that meant is that the majority of green buildings out there, at least in the lead in the lead sense. We're exceeding ASHRAE 90.1, 2004, and 2007 by upwards of 30 to 35 percent, and that's that's the average performance. The top quartile, we're doing better than 45 percent, but we're designed to do better than 45 percent better than code. So if you click on the next one, the problem is is that energy code, as represented by ASHRAE 90.1, has been ratcheting downwards, and the rate of acceleration, as many of you know, has been increasing. Okay, so what that means. The, the pivotal issue for LEED right now is this one. <laughs> when we went from ASHRAE 2007 to ASHRAE uh, to, uh, 90.1 2007 to actually ASHRAE 90.1 2010, we saw another 19% improvement in 
reduction in the nominal amount of energy that buildings are designed for. So with, uh, combined with the 5% minimum improvement required for V4, just to stay in the game means a 24% improvement over, over 2007. So that so just so so twenty four percent just to stay in the certification game at all by beating code, right? So so that's that's an important jump that does not knock out the whole market, but it certainly takes about a third of projects that were probably previously certified and would make it very challenging for them. So is that slide available? Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Happy, happy to share all of anything you see here. Okay. <laughs> and so this this is something that um, in, in terms of food for thought, we are asking buildings to we are asking buildings to do more. And collectively as a group, we're asking buildings to to come down on a design standard basis by almost 50% relative to what they were doing in the late 80s, right? So this is this has been a big net improvement and the rate of change is increasing and that that goal of maintaining a delta is getting harder. Okay, so that's that's a challenge and we know that the market is going to struggle with that challenge, but we have no choice. So, 